it's evolution time and we're starting off with needle nose so this is a review for transformers legacy evolution needle nose needle nose is one of my favorite figures so far from this evolution line and it's kind of cool pose is great now let me explain why i love him so much he's a double target master and he just looks cool he even comes with the double target masters that's just a surprise itself no <laughs> But there's only one fall with it. It's kind. It's kind of lazy. I mean, just fold that piece up. You're done. Fold it up. You're done. It's lazy, but it, it just works. Okay, it just works. I, it's plastic effect compatible, and you can get out some good poses with this. And it actually looks good. I could even give it to Velocitron Scourge and give him a gun. But it's a ludicrous price point. So for some size comparisons, here's go Titans Return Quag, Siege Spinister, and Siege Flavius. Legacy Skull Grin, Velocitron Scourge, Siege Thundercracker, Legacy Stunicons, and Deaxis. I mean, they look good, sort of. Sides from Wild Rider. Bumblebee Movie Ratchet and 86 Iron High. Yeah, they're about to get killed off in the recreation of a solo scene. Now on to transformation. The transformation is simple, but it's fun. So first off, you're gonna fold up the arms and make sure to twist them to the side. This is not siege spinister. So what you did to the one side, you're gonna do to the other. Keep that in mind. Next, you're gonna fold his chest piece down like this, then fold his head in. Pull up these shoulder tabs and fold in his arms. And make sure you fold in his arms neatly because this will be a problem don't do it right not a major problem but then close up his chest like this you're gonna separate the main jet kibble from the back and then move it upwards <laughs> rotate his legs up and then they're gonna tab into the side and go over the arms <laughs> then you're gonna pull out the foot what you do to one side you're gonna do to the other you do the same thing and i did it wrong for some reason i do not know why okay then now you're gonna push it in. This is the hard part. It shows you where the tabs are, so you're gonna push it over, and then boom. If you don't have the wings flip down, flip it down. Pull out the nose cone from the tabs, push it forward, then push it down over the peg, and then boom, you're done. And the jet mode is just, yeah, jet mode is basically just, you know, a combined war style. The feet just hang out. I don't like it. And just find the meter port so you can stick in blast effects. And the blast effects actually fit. That's a surprise. No. More playability. And you can plug on his double target masters on the side of his wings for more playability. And it looks cool. Back to Robot Bow. The jet kill boat was kind of debatable, but you could get over it. Now, the articulation alone with it is already good, but it could be better. The knee up, amazing. Forward kick, just lethal kick right there. But if you don't like this, you could just snap off the tail fin, flip up the nose cone. The nose cone won't tab in. But he just looks more goofier. Then you just put the tail fin wherever you want, I guess. I mean, better articulation, but he just looks goofy either way. So, lose-lose. A uh, waist articulation, but it's super tight. Yeah, this, yeah, this is really tight. You know, arms bend maximum. Wrist swivel. I forgot, I forgot the bicep swivel. <laughs> but, you know, just... Upper half is basically seat spinister. Up and down and side to side. Whatever. So overall, Legacy Needle Nose is a good figure. I'd recommend you buy this. And it looks good along his other double target master partners. He poses good. You might have a problem with the legs. But really, he just looks good. And you can get over it after a while. This was uh, your boy Baby Death Sight, And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to get to 200 subs before March. Uh, I really appreciate it if you can subscribe. Thank you. All right. Bye, Bye for real this time.